Hey Shellers, good afternoon. I am on beautiful Sandoval Island. I wanted to do another quick tutorial on tinies. So we are um, just past high tide. The tide is going out as you can see. And there are some conks out on the beach. Most of them are alive. And I just wanted to show you that right about here, you can see that there's not a lot of little groupings of shells, but if we start to walk down this way, you'll see that all of a sudden you start to see that dark kind of black debris that I was telling you about on the last video. If you can kind of see the dark kind of debris, I'll get up close so you can see it. And that is where you want to look for tinies. So we get down low to the ground and you can kind of see all of this dark debris here that is what you want to look for and as you start to look all of a sudden you'll start to spot little tinies like here's a little lintel trap right here this is what you want to try to find and yes it's tiny and you have to really get down low and you have to really look there's another little tiny right here little purple tip on this one. So if you have a bad back, if you have bad knees, there's another one here, this might not be a great project for you because you have to get low to the ground to see these tiny teeny little shells. There's lots of little bubble shells around here too. I'm not really specifically looking for bubble shells today, so I'm not really going to worry about picking those up, but this is kind of where you want to look. And if I back up a little bit, you'll be able to see more of that black kind of debris here and this is where you want to be so you really have to kind of get down and look close here's another little lentil trap and those of you who love lentil traps you're always asking me how do I find lentil traps do you find them yes we find them um, and this is how you got to know where to look and you got to know how to look and it does take some practice if you can see right here there's a little tiny little conk. I can grab it for you. Look how cute. And you can you can search for shells as large or small as as you want. You don't have to. Here's another one here. You don't have to look for just one kind or just one size. Um, you guys know how much I love the teeny tiny little shells. Here's another one right here. But this is how I find them. And if I look over here, there's also a teeny tiny one right here. And there's another one right there. So I'm going to try to pick them both up so you can see the comparison. There we go. Two teeny tiny little shells. So this is just an example of what you can find if you get down and look really close. Look at this little teeny tiny. I can't even tell what this is. I can't even tell if that's a button shell or a little turbo. I'll have to look with my magnifying glass when I get home. But it's very cute. And again, you guys, I came out today to just do a beach walk with husband and we came across this spot, which was great for tinies. And I've already kind of filled up my shell bag here. This is my size small shell bag that you can see is completely full with, with some, um, I've got some empty conks in here. A lot of the conks have, have occupants, so you always gotta make sure to check your shells. Um, but we've got some whelks and some conks and some olives. Here's a pretty olive in here that we found. And so when I came across, usually I carry two shell bags with me, but I wasn't planning on looking for tinies today, but I came across some tinies. And, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and 
just throw these tinies in here because I know that they are not going to go anywhere. Here's a little teeny tiny shell and I'm going to put it on top of the shell bag for you guys to see that it is not going to fall through that mesh. So I'm going to do another shell cleaning tutorial when I get home and I'm going to show you guys all the little teeny shells that I found are going to be nice and safe. Here it is, going in the bag, inside the shell bag, and they will all be fine in there and nice and safe until I get home. So, um, always have a good shell bag that you can keep your shells safe. These shell bags are for sale on my website, beachtreasuresbylaura.com. They will last you a very, very long time, and they will keep all of your teeny tiny specimens, no matter what you like to look for, shark's teeth, sea glass, seashells, beach stones. Um, I even have a piece of driftwood in here that I found. So I, I do like to collect driftwood too. So that goes in the bag too. Um, any, any type of treasures that you find, which is why I call them treasure bags, you can throw your treasures in there. So again, look for this darker debris when you're looking um, on the beach and get down on your knees or squat down. There's a reason that they call it the Sanibel Stoop. And just look real close um, and you will find little teeny lentil traps and little teeny shells just like that. Little tiny whelks, all kinds of little tiny shells. Um, this is one of my favorite things to do when I shell. So you guys, hopefully this helps you out. And stay tuned for my shell cleaning tutorial. I'll show you all of the teeny tinies that I found today in this area right here.